What's up guys? We're back for another one. Today we're back on the Bob and I'm finally going to do something about these Viking bags that I've been running on the Street Bob. Now, those of you who haven't followed the channel, these bags I had originally purchased for my 2005 Dyna Lowrider. Um, that's the bike I traded in for the Street Bob. And these bags have served me very well over the last few years. Um, zero complaints about how they held up, um, the features, anything like that. For me, the main issue with these bags is one, the way it sits on my bike. So if you've seen my bike from the side, my sissy bar, it's not a detachable one, has this slope that comes down. And what that does to the bag, it kind of makes it sit at an angle like this and it, it drives me crazy. So that being reason number one. Reason number two, after taking a long distance trip on the street, Bob, which there will be a video about later on, um, one of the things that I wish I had was detachable saddlebags so I could take the bags inside the hotel or wherever I'm staying when I'm out of town, right? So that or also having to wash the bike, you know, with, with these Viking bags because it's traditional strap under the seat. You got to take the seat off. You got to unlock the seat lock and it's just a process. So I want something a little, a little more convenient and also fit the bike and look a little nicer. So what I did was I turned to Leather Pros for the Leather Pro Retro Mini. Uh, now this is a really neat little bag here. If you look at the bag, the back here, it's got this lever here for the quick detach. For those of you who are familiar with the Leather Pro system, if you get these bags, you can actually get the larger bags and it uses the same hardware. So if you buy the full, the really big bags that expand out, that are bigger than actually my Road King bags, I could easily pop those on quick release straight out of the box. So again, there's a convenience there to be had as well. Now, you do lose a little bit of size going from the Viking bag to the Leather Pro. Um, for example, the Viking bag is listed as uh, 13 by nine by seven. The Leather Pro Mini is, is um, listed as 13 and a half by nine by six. So about an inch difference, but if you look at the capacity of each bag, the Leather Pro Mini has about a 600 cubic inch capacity where the Viking Patriot bags have an, almost an 820 cubic inches of capacity. And if you look side by side, the biggest thing you'll see is that you know not only are these bags higher because these slope down but they're also slightly wider so if space is really more of an issue for you you might want to look somewhere else but to me i think it's really close and we'll certainly see after i put the bags on but you are you are losing some capacity to that extent now what you are gaining is first of all the Kodora that they use is a much higher um, abrasion rate than what the Vikings use. The Vikings use a, um, a 600, uh, 1680D nylon, where the um, Leather Pros uses a 1050. And if you go online and you look up nylon Kodora ratings and stuff like that, these, this is actually a higher um, abrasion rating. On top of that, you have this nice real leather uh, piece across the top reinforced by buttons and some nice zippers on the inside. I'll show you more of the inside after we get it on the bike. So um, let's get over to the bike. Really, you just need um, uh, whatever tool it is to use to remove the bolts on the back of your um, uh, fender bracket. Mine may be different because I do have the TC Bros um, sissy bar and those came with replacement bolts. So mine may be a little different from yours if you're still running the stock bolts or whatever setup you may have. So we'll get over to the bike. It's real quick. You remove the four bolts, you put these spacers on, and uh, I'll show you what's included in the box along with um, what setup, what, what hardware setup you need for whatever your situation may be. All right, so this is everything you get in the box. You get your instructions. You get two sets of bolts. Uh, in a nutshell, these longer bolts are used if you have quick detach system already. 
Uh, you use these longer bolts. If not, you're gonna use these shorter bolts. If you're using the quick detach, uh, you're gonna use this no matter what. And this is the spacer here that goes along with the quick detach. Bolt goes through the top. In our instance, we don't have the quick detach, so I'm just going to stack this spacer with this. Bolt goes in this way, tightens onto the, um, the um, fender support. So that's all there is to it. Four bolts in, four bolts out. Let's get over to the bike and do it. Just to review how you're going to set up your bolts here, I've got the shorter of the two bolts. We're going to slide this in so the groove is away from the head and then we're going to slide the spacer in just like that. They do give you some blue Loctite, but I didn't want to open it, so I just used what I got here. So a little dab of that. Hand tighten it at first. And that's really it. I've already got the other side done, but that looks pretty clean. I'll show you how to put the bags on and show you what the bike looks like. All right, so we have the posts on and I'm gonna show you guys how the bag installs if you're not familiar. So there is a little plunger here on the inside. And what that does, it allows this locking pin to pull out, which allows the lever to slide past it. And so you'll do that, you'll slide this onto the post, and then you just push this forward until that pin pops back out, and that'll be locked in place, and that's all there is to it. All right guys, so just pulled up to work. I wanted to give it some real world testing here as far as how it rode and the capacity. So before we do that, let's just get a good look what it looks like from the back. So clean. And let's take a look here. So I'm gonna pop these buttons here. This side has my rain gear. So I've got my rain jacket and my rain pants. Stuff my gloves in there, no problem there. Still got some room for some smaller items. Not that I ever get a chance to wear this rain suit because there's nowhere to pull over once it starts raining. Anyway, so that's that side. So if you're someone who likes to commute like me, hmm, looks good, man. Look how clean that looks. All right, so this side. Here's my bag. Here's my lunch. A couple water bottles, some food, a little do rag in there. I like how the zippers are protected by this cover and then this flap here. So the odds of it raining today are probably in the high 90s. So we'll see how wet it gets inside if this thing is actually sitting out here in the rain while I'm working. Oh, also, you got these cool little pouches here. I do have a couple little tools in here. Um, nice size. All in all, super happy. I think it looks great. 
Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Mm. She's getting there, guys. All right, you guys know what to do. You like videos like this, like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.